Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be making a chili cheese tater tot casserole. So the first thing I'm going to do is fix my chili. Now if you have a favorite recipe for chili that you want to use, just stick with what you already know and what you like. Or if you want to use my recipe that I'll be using today, I'll have the recipe down in the description box below. But the main thing about your chili is it needs to be a thick, hearty chili. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and get this chili cooking. Okay, I have my chili made, so now let's move on to our next step. For our next step, and for convenience and ease of cleanup, I'm going to be using one of these metal pans. But any large casserole dish should work fine for this. And what I'm going to do is put a layer of the chili into the bottom of this pan. Now as I scoop this out, I'm going to try to drain off a little bit of the excess juice and soup off of this chili because I don't want this to be too soupy in the pan. So I'm just going to put down the chili in the bottom of the pan. I'm just going to smooth that out. Now I have a little bit of chili left in my kettle and I'm just going to leave that to the side and maybe eat on that after a while. Okay, for my next step I'm going to add some shredded cheddar cheese. You can use your preference and brand. And this bag contains about three cups. So I'm just going to put a layer of the cheddar cheese down. Freshly grated is always better, but sometimes I have to settle for convenience. And next, I'm going to just place a layer of the tater tots on top of the cheese. Now that I have all my tater tots layered on top of the chili and the cheese, I'm going to place this in the oven and I have my oven preheated at 375 degrees. Now basically where your chili is already warm, all you need to do is let your cheese finish melting and your tater tots to cook through. And once those are cooked through, sometimes I'll turn the brule setting on my stove and brown the tops off a little bit. So I'll bring you back when it's done. So my casserole is done and I've spooned me a little bit out into a dish and I'm just going to give it a try. It's still very hot. Look at that cheese. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> mm, turned out perfect I hope you've enjoyed today's video and thank you for joining me you all and until next time <laughs>